Is this an art challenge video that's longer than 30 seconds? Hello everyone, I'm Hassan Drawers and today we're going to be doing another art challenge. The style versus style challenge, I'm just going to call it, I don't know if it has a name. Basically like you half a drawing and you draw one half in one style one half in the other so it could be like realism and cartoon or it could be two different um two different mediums like paint versus pencils kind of like that i see some really fun takes on this challenge and i thought i'd make a long video just showing my process and how i do it yes it could be a tutorial if you wanted it to be so today we're going to be doing a challenge between cartoon versus realism. I don't really draw realism, but I am going to try. <laughs> I've seen people who like split it into four. I could maybe do that in the next video if you want it. Let me know down below to move over here and you can see what I'm doing here. So this is the sketch that I made for this challenge today. Please trust the process. It's just a sketch. We're gonna like do the line art and all of that fancy stuff. I'm gonna do one half in my cartoony style and the other half is gonna be more details, painting, rendering, all of that stuff. So there's a bit of contrast between the two sides. And then we'll decide which one wins, if you will, but every art style is different, so it's hard to compare them, isn't it? But let me know which one's your favorite at the end of the video. Okay, so we're gonna start by drawing a line straight down the middle. That was an excellent straight line. We're going to label the two sides. So this side, is going to be our cartoon side. And the bright side is going to be our realism side. Okay, so we're going to start with the cartoon side. I'm gonna do all the line art. I'm just gonna go in and make all these lines super simple. You could say my my normal art style is quite cartoony, but I'm gonna make sure that because I want it to stand out next to the other side, I'm gonna make sure this side is very simple. Simple, simple. I don't know if I should be like teaching while I do this. I'm just making the start of my lines quite thick and it's going thinner into the middle just because line weight is important. You learn that over time, really. You, I always didn't know where the lines should be thicker and where they should be thinner. And I think it's something I still kind of struggle with now. With, with practice, you really do sort of get it over time. And when you observe other artists and where they have thick lines or they have thin lines, all of that. Obviously I've sketched this quite cartoony in my art style, so the other side will definitely be interesting in realism. I swear normally on my drawings, 90% of the time is trying to get the line right a hundred times. I thought they could be like petals, something pretty, I don't know. I think what I love about cartoon art styles is that they just have so much personality to them and it's completely up to the artist how far you want to go with the cartoon rendering like it could just be like a simple simple shapes and simple colors or you can add more shading and or as little shading as you want I think there's a lot more scope to be like creative with it really so my kind of cartoon work definitely sort of falls a little bit under the semi-realism area, but I love to have some thick line art. I just love that. I just trust my line art. <laughs> Fun fact, I'm actually recording this a second time because I recorded the whole video uh, just for the end to realize that I didn't screen record it. So, hmm. This is my second attempt at making this video. So please make sure to hit the like. Thank you. I always draw these completely random people from the top of my head and people are always like, who is it? Who are you drawing? And I'm like, just literally, this could be anyone. Absolutely anyone. I barely ever draw people that I know. That's so untrue. I've literally grown up drawing Ariana Grande. So if you see any resemblances ever, that is why. Okay, because I don't want to go overboard, this is the line art that I'm going to do for this side. So now we're going to get into colouring. 
I've picked a couple colors that I wanted to use. I might use a couple more, who knows? We're gonna use these and we're just gonna color in some base colors now. I just put the two layers that I had before on multiply, so my sketch would kind of show through the line art. I don't know, I just kind of like the kind of sketchiness of the original sketch that I did behind it. I don't know if that's just a me thing or not. I love this bright color. Oh, I love that. I always try to pick like some crazy color schemes for these random characters. And whenever I do on my TikToks and my videos, I always get comments that are like, that looks like this character because of the color scheme. And it's always a character that I've never hit on before. In my last video, everyone was saying that uh, the guy looked like Naruto. And I was like, I don't know who that is. Please educate me in the comments. Don't scream at me. You know it's like an anime or something. It's like the name of an anime. But that's as far as my knowledge knows. Let me know if this character reminds you of anyone, I guess. So colour the hair in, now we're going to do like the little accessories and stuff. So a new layer for that. I gave her these chunky star and moon earrings. I just have an obsession with stars, it's my favourite shape. I've been working on some new stickers that are little star hedgehogs, if I can put one of those there. Let me know if you guys like them, because I'll make them if you like them. more details to the face. I'm gonna give her like dark red eyebrows I think to match with her hair. Oh. I'm just gonna add some signs of shadows under the nose, under her eyes, under her jaw. Yeah, so we're gonna add those. So I'm going on all the layers. I'm gonna slightly darken each color. And I'm just going to do a really simple little shadow under these parts. For this cartoon side, I'm going to keep everything quite strong, quite sharp. And then on the other side, we're going to do a little bit more blending. I know the sketch was pink, but I kind of really love her having a pink eye. Her eyes being... Never mind, let's pick a different colour. How about blue? <laughs> I tried putting the blue, but it's turned grey, but I'm not mad about that. So now we're going to work on shading on the hair. So, go to that layer. I'm going to add a clipping mask on top, so I only colour in that area. I'm going to take the hair colour and I'm just going to darken it a bit like this and then add it to behind her, her head and just behind her ear here too. I think it'd be cool if I made a little character design of her. I might make that a video because I really like her as a character. Let's give her a bit of eyeshadow too. How about some orange eyeshadow? I don't know where all these colours are coming from today but let's give her some orange eyeshadow. This is good, this is working out good. Nice, I like that. And finally, just some more details on her dungarees, I think they are. I'll just add a quick bit of shading to her like stripy top she's wearing underneath. <gasps> so am I. Just like that. Okay, now that we're at this point, I'm gonna put a layer on top of everything. We're just gonna add highlights to everything, really. So, bits to the eye, bits to the hair, just to make it really stand out. I love my highlight just on the bottom of the iris. I think it helps it really brighten the eye. Mm. Yeah, I like that, I think. The hair, I'm just gonna go in with a lighter pink and add those highlights just like that. I'm 
Just a couple eye highlights, and I think that's this done. There we go. Cartoon side, here it is. Time to do the realism side. For this side, I'm going to put the same flat colors. We're just gonna paint it differently. Let's just speed through that. To be honest, when I was doing the other side, I could have just done the same flat color while I was doing that, but we love giving ourselves more work. For this side, we're not going to draw all the tiny little details and colors because we're going to focus on the main forms, which is the hair, the face, and I suppose her outfit as well. Those tiny little details will come at the end. I'm gonna start by rendering the skin now. Go on my skin layer, take my colors, and this time we're gonna be using a lot more colors than just one. Take the shade that I used on the other side. I'm gonna use a, an airbrush. I know it's looking a little bit airbrushed right now, but we will be fixing that. I'm going in with some more red tones, just to add a little bit of blush, a little bit of blood under the skin. Okay, I think that's a good start for the airbrush on the skin. I'm going to go into my eye now. I've made. I've made the eye a little bit smaller, so it's a little more on the realism side, but it's still very much my art style. And now this is the stage where I like to just add a layer straight on top of everything, going with my normal brush just to sharpen up those edges, because right now everything's looking a bit blurry. I feel like a lot of digital artists when they start, they forget to add this sort of mixture of textures of like soft gradients and also hard, sharp lines. That's what really sort of brings it out, I think. Do I make any sense when I say things like that? This looks kind of creepy in this realism style. In my normal cartoon art style, I have these big pokey ears. <laughs> they look so weird, like properly rendered. Oh, I forgot to give the other side eyelashes. Let me do that now. <laughs> I suppose this is less realism, more me using less line art, really. I just remember that's what I called it on the videos that I've made before. I did line art versus no lines, so I suppose this is no lines. Make sure we're getting those darkest shadows, like in the nostrils and your lip corners tend to be quite dark too. So yeah, this is why I'm kind of like, no one should learn off me because I was using all the layers before, but now I'm just like, nah, let's just draw on top of everything. That's just very chaotic really. Cause if I wanted to change anything, everything's on the same layer now. So I'll have fun tracing around everything. That's the sacrifice I'm willing to make. Okay, now that we've added all these little details, it's time to go in with highlights. So I'm just gonna take the same highlight that I used here, and I'm just gonna cross it over really, just add it in all the places that it needs. Uh, top of the eyebrow here, a little bit in the corners, tip of the nose, a little bit here. Off observation, you sort of find out where all the highlights are on the face. You can even look on your own face to figure out where they are.
cool so that's that now because i've worked on the same layer i'm going to struggle to add this orange to the eyelid go try and oh see <laughs> i made this difficult for myself i'm just running out of layers everything is going right i've literally just started on youtube and i'm going to struggle to put this up there if it's there well done hassan for doing that because wow baseline youtuber i did give her like this sort of floral tattoo which i kind of wanted to fit on here cool i'm gonna kind of calm that down i think because it's a little bit intense fade that out a bit there we go now we're going to do the hat it's the same premise really of i'm gonna go in with a darker shade use my airbrush and just airbrush in all those dark areas next gonna go in with a brush that has a little more texture and make it bigger than that just bring back that hair texture I'm also going to take this moment while we're drawing hair to say thank you so much for 40,000 subscribers. It has been insane. Just like, you know, I just post these art videos that I like making and you guys seem to like them too. So thank you so much for that. It's honestly been insane. I am very excited to share this video with you and a lot more videos. So leave your recommendations in the comments because I will absolutely be following them. I kind of ended up giving her quite neon hair, but I'm not mad about it. Nice. Now I'm going to go in with a final highlight, I think. And then this highlight I'm going to make quite small, just so we get that real sort of fine hair look. Okay, I'm gonna stop there with the hair because I could be doing this literally all day. Oh my God, because I've done all the hair, I completely forgot that I had a moon earring under all that hair. Oops. Well, we'll put that in now because we're gonna do the accessories next. Probably just gonna speed through this because it is just the same process again. Base color, I use my airbrush and then I sharpen things up. So let's just go through that. Let's do those patterns. Time to bring back that earring that just disappears behind the hair. Okay, we're nearly done. So we've done all the little details and all the little highlights. I made this to fool myself by making so many things shiny, but here we are. Now we're gonna do the outfit. So let's just power through that and I'll see you at the end of it. See, this is the problem with the realism side. You could literally be going on forever adding these tiny little details. We're gonna leave that. Are you ready for a reveal? This is the cartoon side versus the realism side. Comment down below what which side is your favorite. Let's hear it. I personally think the cartoon side is my favorite. That's more 
what I'm used to doing. The realism side definitely is more of a challenge for me. Let me know how you think I did. So yeah, that was my cartoon versus realism challenge. I suppose it was more lines versus no lines challenge, but here we are. Let's just roll with the realism. Thank you so much for watching and I hope you enjoyed the result. Thanks for just hanging out, honestly. Make sure to subscribe for more of these challenges. Please let me know what other challenges you want me to do in this long form. And thanks for just being here. Thank you guys. See you later.